What is going on my broskies, my name is Totski, back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. And today, we are bringing along Roger and Newgate, the brand new Super Sugo Fest exclusive character, debuting on that New Year's Sugo Fest for One Piece Treasure Cruise. And this guy's pretty awesome, I really cannot wait to use him in a bunch of content moving forward. He is immaculate, I love it. Not only does he look awesome, he is very, very good in practice. So the two teams that you're seeing in the video today are actually the same team. And the reason why we're using these particular units is because not only is this able to clear the int challenge, however, this is able to clear the side challenge as well. So these are the only units in the game that you can use that will actually complete this challenge. There is another character that is technically available, which is the Whitebeard and Marco dual unit. However, you can't use that alongside Roger and Newgate because you've already got a Whitebeard character in your crew. And honestly speaking, you probably wouldn't even need it anyway because the characters that we have on our team are just absolutely perfect for the role that they need to fulfill. Um, so one character that I think is probably the most important character on the entire crew is going to be Kobe and Helmeppo because uh, they're a really nice unit that in the Helmeppo form are considered a slasher character. So you're able to use their special ability to grant not only an attack boost, but they also help you get rid of four turns of damage threshold, which is not very useful at all versus the Doflamingo quest. However, in the other quest versus navy going to be very very key also we have to deal with despair in a couple of different variations in this particular piece of content versus doflamingo number one and by using the special ability of roger and newgate we can just remove 20 turns of despair upon activation that makes it a lot easier and the thing is is like you know roger and newgate special obviously is incredibly powerful but it's not required in order to get through this content the regular solo captain effects are like five times captains right and this and their switch will provide you adjacent slots matching and a 1.5 times attack and or boosting effect with a five times captain and a 1.5 times attack and slot effect boost every single turn you don't really need their special ability for the final stage at least not in this content anyway so you can just get through just with those switch effects alone and if you do activate that super switch the 1.5 times attack and slot effect boost become a two times attack and slot effect boost instead that's awesome, of course, and also utilizing V1 Shirahoshi and Mancherry. I always talk about this unit, say that I'm not really a big fan of this unit. I think V2 Shirahoshi Mancherry is much better, but of course, in a Cyan Int Garp challenge, this unit is going to be pretty useful because not only do you get amazing healing, but also just due to the fact that we have custard support now, we can use that to just lock the slots for multiple turns. Not like getting slots was really a, a really difficult thing to do in the first place with Roger and Newgate, but just being able to guarantee those slots is obviously very very nice to have and in this instance here their special ability allows us to remove the target lock that's actually inflicted to our team which then actually allows us to use the smoker and tashigi special on one of the back mob characters to get a guaranteed kill against them uh, we are paralyzed for that turn but it doesn't really make that much of a difference we are still able to get through it we can kill off those mobs and basically take no damage uh, though to be honest even if you have to have to take a hit from two of them it's not that big of a deal you can still get through it without too many problems and then on the final stage we get access to their final tab and their final tab makes their last hit do a lot of damage so basically the way that it works is is when you are using them on the final stage when you attack last with them it will give them a guaranteed slot that goes through block slots and at level five it will actually make their chain multiplier get a plus 4.0 meaning that if you are on the final stage of a quest and you just hit regularly all of your perfects it means that your uh, last hit will be you know normally a 2.5 times multiplier with their final tap it actually becomes a 6.5 times multiplier they do a lot of damage however of course my one is only you know final tap level one so it's not going to be anywhere near as powerful as what you know we would hope for it to be at level one it only provides a plus 2.0 so meaning if you hit all of your perfects it ends up being a uh, 4.5 times chain for them on their last hit which is not that significant of an increase but it's still awesome to see their really cool special animation that plays and they do get a little bit of additional damage as well which is really really neat <laughs> Moving on now, we have the Navy Challenge, which in my opinion was actually easier than Doflamingo, to be honest. Um, the really cool thing about this is, is like normally we'd have to deal with hunger in some way, shape or form, and typically bringing a character that has the potential ability that can get around hunger 
is really, really good. However, in this instance, none of these characters get access to hunger. None of them get access to, you know, recovery slot manipulation, which is where, you know, Wipe It and Marco as a dual unit would be pretty useful for this quest. However, there is a really, really cool character that you can attach to the Luffy and Hancock character, which is a free-to-play Otama character. This character just changes the character's slot and adjacent slots into recovery when you launch their special, which means that we can just get free recovery slots and get rid of that hunger. So that definitely deals with that problem there, which is really good. And then we can just, you know, switch effect our way to victory from this point onwards. And of course, we can activate the special ability of Roger and Newgate to get around a couple of different things, like Despair, of course, happens on the Smoker stage. So we can, you know, make sure we use a special ability there. We can also use a special ability of Roger and Whitebeard on the Fujitora stage, because that stage is kind of annoying. Uh, and of course, with Roger and Whitebeard special, basically, when you have different characters up, you get different effects. So when you launch Roger's special, Roger will increase any attack buff on your crew to become a three times attack boost instead. And if you have a color affinity boost active, Roger will buff the color affinity by plus 0.5. So that's really cool that you can get access with that. However, we use the Whitebeard special versus Fujitora, which is slightly better for that situation because any orb boost you have gets buffed to three times, which of course, either one you activate is gonna buff their switch effect attack or orb boost up. But when you launch Whitebeard special, he gives you a two times color affinity boost to your slasher and striker characters, meaning that when we attack Fujitora, because he is an int character, we get significant damage against him. Also against this guy here with Kizaru, we can launch the special ability of Shirahoshi and Mancherry to not only provide healing and the full board of slots, but we can actually get rid of the perfect uh, perfect difficult debuff here, which is pretty annoying actually. I mean, you don't need to activate it here, but it definitely makes things a lot easier. And also guaranteeing slots also on the following stage too, just means that we do a lot more damage and you know, just makes things a lot easier moving forward. Another thing about this team that is why it's able to get through it as well is due to the fact that on this Fujitora stage, we can actually stall quite a fair bit, like an additional like eight, seven, nine, ten turns, however many turns it is. We can stall a lot on this stage once Fujitora goes down. We definitely take that, you know, in advantage because we, we can do it and because this team isn't like the best team in the world, but it gets the job done and gets two challenges out of the way simultaneously, which is very valuable, especially for those people that are, you know, trying to clear them as fast as possible, especially, you know, we're getting towards the end of the race set now uh, having access to that is really really good and then of course because we have been able to stall we can actually get the special ability once again of kobe and helmeppo which enables us to remove the damage threshold once we actually kill a kainu on that first turn so overall a really fun team being able to kill both challenges on two different garb challenges with the exact same team is pretty impressive so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video today and if you guys did enjoy the video make sure to go ahead and leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all of the content that i post including more one piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below but on that guys i'll see you guys within the next video そしたら俺はよガキでもあるね